Hi folks, this is Katie with Furrow and Feather SVG. Um, today I am going to show a video tutorial on how to assemble one of my box cards. Um, I define a box card as um, the structure of the card being a box and then the middle pieces being glued inside the structure of the box. I do have another card type and that is called a slot card. Um, and instead of the middle pieces being glued into the structure of the card, the middle pieces have tabs that are stuck inside these slots on the side of the card. So if you have this style of card, I'll, I will link the tutorial on how to assemble that below so you're able to see that as well. Okay, so within the box card, card type um, that I use, there will be kind of two, two different um, options there. The first of which, which is much more common, is the structure of the card. So that means the sides and the tabs here will be on the back piece. Um, the alternative is that the structure, the sides and the tabs will be on the front piece. Um, and I'm trying to kind of move away from that, but it kind of just depends on um, the design of the card. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, but we do have score lines on this back piece here. We have score lines here, 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 and here. And what this is going to do is it go, it's going to define the side of our box. Um, so in order to get this structure of the card kind of started, we're going to be folding upwards on the score lines. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so our score lines on kind of this middle, on this back piece, excuse me, have been folded upwards. Um, and if you look at it kind of from the bottom of the card, you can kind of see the structure um, of our card starting. So the next thing that we need to do in order to finish the box, kind of the structure of the card, is that we need to glue on the front piece to um, finish the box to be ready for the middle piece. So I'm going to add glue to these two tabs right here and I'm going to be adding the front piece onto that. All right, it's very important for this to kind of all be in a straight line right here. So make sure you line it up just as well as you can. And I'm gonna let this dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step of this card assembly is we're going to be adding the middle piece. Some of my card designs include two middle pieces to kind of add, you know, some more detail and variance. Um, this right here is an example of a card that has two middle pieces instead of one. If you flip the card upside down and look at the bottom, you can kind of see that there are two middle pieces um, in the structure of the card. So um, I'll give a, a few more tips for that later on, um, but just know that this, this is um, an option as well. So in order to get this middle piece into our box, into our structure of the card, and for it to fold flat, we're going to need to fold these tabs here in a pretty specific way. So I like to fold this um, right tab here, I like to fold this down, and I like to fold this left tab upwards. Um, and if you have two middle pieces, you're gonna do that um, for both of those pieces. And I like to give it a pretty good score with a bone folder or nails or whatever. Um, okay, and that's folded and ready to go. Um, I'm going to be adding glue to the outside edges of these tabs here, okay? So when they're folded like this, I'm going to be adding glue to this side of this tab and this side of this tab. Before I add it to the middle of this card though, I do kind of want to get a feel for 
how this is going to fit inside of our card. So you can see that we have, oops, you can see that we have our, our, our assembled box here for our card. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hoping that you can. <laughs> um, and what we're going to end up doing when we do add glue is we're going to be putting this middle piece in and we want it, we want it to be glued in a pretty specific way in order, in order for this card to be folded um, correctly. Um, so just kind of like before you add glue, kind of like put it in and get a feel for um, kind of like the area of where you, where it is supposed to go. Okay, so I've added glue to either, either side of the tab here and I'm going to insert it into my card. Okay, and like the front piece, it's very important for this middle piece to be kind of flat along this bottom here. And let me show you um, how I line up the pieces. So this is still has wet glue, but let me show you here. Um, if you're able to see that, this right piece, um, I put kind of in this back right corner. I line up the very edge of that right tab with this back right corner, if you can see that. This left tab here, this very edge of this left tab, I line up with this front left corner of the card. Let me flatten this again really quick. If you can see this, let me open this up. So that's kind of the way that it should be laid out. And let me, I'm gonna let this dry. If you have um, a card that has two middle pieces, you're going to do essentially the same thing. So as you can see here, um, this back middle piece, the, you know, the edge of that right tab is in the very far right corner, this back right corner of the box. This left tab here, this for the front piece is in this top left corner. And you kind of have to arrange the tabs so they kind of like, line up like right next to each other if you can see that. And that is how this box, this card is able to lay flat. Okay, so this is the finished version of the card. As you can see, it pops up. You can kind of stick it up on a flat surface, but I designed these to lay flat to be mailed. Each of my cards comes with kind of a white piece for the back, so you're able to write a quick note for the recipient. Um, you could also add a sentiment to the front of the card. Um, if you visit my website, I have a bunch of different free packs of phrases to really customize the card and, um, you know, to specify for like whatever occasion the card is for. Um, so check that out. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, you can email me send me a message on Etsy, um, leave a comment in this video, this YouTube video, and I'll do my best to answer those questions. If you feel like I missed something um, in the tutorial, like please let me know. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.